was to use a double number line to add all of these fraction expressions. And we set up our number line, and I think we can get away with using one number line for all of these. And what we first want to ask is, okay, in the first scenario I'm adding a fourth and a fifth. Uh, well, let's say we're going on a, on a race, right? Or we're, we're running some race. How far would the race have to be? What, what distance would we choose for the race that, that works really well with fourths and fifths? So how long should this line be? That, or or what, sh what distance should it be so that we can really work with fourths and fifths in an easy way? And I would choose 100, right? That's one possibility. There are many others, of course. Um, because 4 goes into 125 times. So we're going to hop up 25 times. This is our double number line. and get to 25, right? And that's a fourth of the way because 4 times 25 is 100. And now we're going to hop up a fifth of the way. Well, how far is a fifth of the way? Well, 5 goes into 120 times. So we're going to hop up another 20. And that brings us to 45, right? And that's a fifth of the way. So when we add these two, we get 45 out of 100, because this is 45 out of a distance of 100. We can reduce that, dividing 45 and 100 by 5, and I get 9 over 20. OK, the next problem, we have 2 fourths plus 1 fifth. Well, 2 fourths is twice as large as 1 fourth, so maybe we can use that somehow. We said here 1 fourth was 25, so if I went up 2 fourths, I'm going to use red now, I would hop up to 25, and then hop up another 25 to 50. All right, and this time, let me erase this, we're hopping up 2 fourths. That's another fourth, so a fourth and a fourth brings us to 50 because they're 2 hops to 25. All right. Um, and then to that we're adding a fifth, and we said a fifth was 20, so we're going to add a fifth, and that brings us to 70. So here we could say we have 70 out of 100, or 7 tenths, right? Uh, and again, all I'm doing there is, here's the, the actual equation, I broke two fourths into two separate fourths, and a fifth added them all up, and that brought me to my answer. Now I'm going to use a separate number line because I realize already that I'm running out of room here. In this problem, we're adding a fourth plus 45 out of 100. So again, I'm asking, well, what distance should I choose that's really friendly for 4 and 100? I'm going to choose, again, 100. So when I hop a fourth of the way, I'm hopping up 25 because 4 goes into 100. 25 times, so that's one fourth of the way. And now to that, I'm adding 45 out of 100. All right, so I'm just going to add 45 to this number. So what's 45 plus 25? That's 70, right? All the way up here. That's 45 out of 100. So one fourth and 45 out of 100 brings us to 70 out of 100, or 7 tenths, just like we got before. Um, Okay, so now, last but not least, we have a half and a fourth and a fifth. Well, I can use, I think I have enough space right up here. And I'm going to use 100 again, because it's really friendly for 2, 4, and 5. Um, but actually, I've been using 100 all along. Could I use a smaller number? And could I have used smaller numbers in the past? The answer is yes. With 4 and 5, I could have chosen 20. That would also work. Because look what we ended up with anyway, 9 twentieths. And what you would do in that case is, well, if I want to get to 20, 1 fourth of 20 is what? Well, that's, that's just 5, right? 1 fourth of 20 is 5. And 1 fifth of 20 is 4. 1 fifth of 20 is 4. So that would lead us up to 9. So we don't have to choose larger numbers that are friendly for these denominators. We can choose anything we want. And in fact, the smaller, usually the better. So here, 2, 4, and 5, what do these three numbers go into? Well, they do all go into 20. So let's try this with a different color here. Sorry about all the number lines. So now our goal is to go up to 20. First, we want to go up a half of 20. So we hop up 10. Right? That's one half of 20.
brings us to 10. Then we want to hop up a fourth of 20. What's one fourth of 20? Well, that's five, right? Because four goes into 25 times. So when I hop up a fourth, hopping up five extra brings me to 15. When I hop up a fifth of 20, I'm hopping up four more. It brings me, I should do, my hops here aren't very accurate, sorry about that. It should bring me to 19, right? Because 15 plus four is 19. So here I get 19 out of 20, and that's my answer. Now, um, why do all this? Well, throughout this process, we're, we're, we're doing a couple of things. One thing we're doing is we're keeping track of our intuition, right? Uh, we're keeping track of fourths and fifths relative to some number that we choose. It's a very conscious process. We're not just arbitrarily finding a number that's friendly. We're picking that, using it, and then trying to make a scale out of it. And then we're also looking at scale, proportionality, right? A fourth can be thought of as five out of 20. That's the same thing, right? One fourth is the same thing as five out of 20. One fifth here is the same thing as four out of 20. So we start to recognize that proportionality. It's almost natural. And anyway, we'll look at some other ones. Hope this helped.